So we've been covering the Dakota Access Pipeline. So they've built this giant pipeline. They brought it all the way to the Missouri River. Now there, there's protesters. So they call themselves the water protectors. A lot of Native American tribes, some environmentalists. And they're saying, hey, don't cross the Missouri River for a number of reasons. One, we want to protect the water. It's sacred to us. And we actually drink it. And a lot of people do. And pipelines leak all the time. In fact, we found out after a lot of pressing from the Associated Press that it turns out they've had hundreds of leaks from the pipelines, other pipelines in North Dakota, that the government of North Dakota was covering up because they said they didn't want to over-report the leaks. Okay? So that's one of the reasons. And by the way, the fossil fuels, a lot of the environmentalists want to keep them in the ground because climate change is destroying this planet. The other reason is uh, the place that they're building is unceded Sioux Nation territory according to treaties of the United States of America. Okay, so that's been playing out back and forth. Then President Obama stepped in and said, okay, two parts of his decision. One is, all right, we suggest that the company not come within 20 miles of the river because the river is Army Corps of Engineer land and we don't want you to drill through it until we reassess the situation. Now, that was just a suggestion. W what do corporations do with suggestions that cost them money? <laughs> They dismiss that suggestion immediately. What a preposterous thing to say, by the way, to give a corporation a suggestion, as if they're going to ponder it like, hmm, let's have a debate over this. No, how do I make more money? I make more money by drilling? Go forward, go forward. But, and this is very important, the second part of the order from the Army Corps of Engineers was, you are not allowed to drill in the river. So once you get to the river, you're not allowed to drill. That's not a suggestion, that's the law. Okay, now we have footage of them being a half a half mile from the river, so we uh, exclusively brought to this to you at the Young Turks. So there they are bringing the pipeline that's against Barack Obama's suggestion, right? But then you see the river right there, and that is the drilling pad. Now Jordan Sheraton, uh, our reporter on the scene who uh, got this footage, said during that report, "Hey, they're right next to the river. They might start drilling." When he first asked the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, hey, they might start drilling, what are you guys going to do about it, do you have any observers? Uh, the Army Corps said, no, no, don't be ridiculous, of course they're not going to drill, where there's a legal order that they're not allowed to drill. So no, we, we're trusting them, we, we don't have anybody out there to monitor it. Now let me bring you the news from today. The Dakota Access Pipeline operator chose the day of the U.S. presidential election to announce that the final phase of its controversial construction project will begin in two weeks, making a bold escalation in its response to the Native American protests. But you're not allowed to drill. The Army Corps of Engineers didn't give you any permission. <laughs> no, no, no. We run this place. We're going to drill anyway. Amazing. More. The company said it would not halt construction, despite requests by the federal agencies to delay the project, as the U.S. government reassesses permits and considers possible reroutes. What do you mean you're not going to halt the construction? And you, that is, The Guardian, good reporting on this, but that word is wrong. It was not a request. Let me read you the United States Department of Justice order. Quote, the Army will not authorize constructing the Dakota Access Pipeline on the core land bordering or under Lake Oahe until it can determine whether it will need to consider any of its previous decisions regarding the Lake Ohio site under the National Environmental Policy Act uh, or other federal laws. Therefore, construction of the pipeline on Army Corps land bordering or under Lake Oahe will not go forward at this time. Now, I say Missouri River because Lake Oahe feeds into the Missouri River. What you saw in our drone footage there uh, is Lake Oahe. So the federal government said very clearly, you are not allowed to drill. Now the Dakota Access Pipeline turns around and goes, no, I'm going to drill anyway. Okay, but there's all these cops there, giant militarized uh, force with Humvees and tanks and what appear to be tanks. They're mine-resistant SUVs. Here's what I'm going to need you to do. Turn around. You're facing the wrong way. And you're facing against Native American protesters who are protesting as they have every right to do as American citizens. Meanwhile, the guys behind you are breaking the law and doing it brazenly, brazenly. Turn around, turn around. You're facing the wrong way. Okay, 
In a statement, Energy Transfer Partners, which owns the Dakota Access Pipeline, said it was, quote, mobilizing horizontal drilling equipment in preparation for tunneling under Lake Oahe, a reservoir on the Missouri River, by the protest camps and Native American reservation. The corporation said it would be ready to start crossing the water in two weeks. They have no order to cross the river in two weeks. They're not allowed to. They don't care because our representatives don't represent us and they don't apparently rule over us. The corporations do. They're like, no, no, we're, we don't report to the government. The government reports to us. That's the view of energy transfer partners and so many of these other corporations. They go on to say, we're not aware that any consideration is being given to a reroute and we remain confident that we will receive our easement in a timely fashion. In other words, yeah, I know they asked uh, for us to consider a reroute. No, we're not reconsidering it. And you're going to give us the order. Hey, government, you're going to give us the order. And wh whether we have it or not, I'm already drilling. So sad day for you. Are we going to enforce the law? Are we a country of rule of law? Do we believe uh, in law and order? If we do, cops, turn around, you're facing the wrong direction. The lawbreakers are right behind you. And they're, they're spitting in your eye. Okay, I'm not done. We have clarification from the Army Corps of Engineers in a second that we just received today, okay? Uh, first though, I wanna go to a tribe member, Cheryl Angel. Um, she says, I'm in shock, I'm speechless. It's unconscionable and devastating. It's almost as though they have no soul. But Cheryl, I got bad news for you. They don't. <laughs> They're a corporation. That's a machine. We programmed the machine to make every cent it could. We didn't program it to have a soul. Of course it doesn't have a soul. Please stop thinking about this as if they're humans. They're not humans. They're profit-making machines. So you don't, with those kind of machines, you don't request anything. <laughs> you order things, as the government in this case has. And you shouldn't be surprised by any of their actions. Um, the Guardian further explains, the protesters were also disappointed that Obama has not condemned the highly militarized police force in North Dakota, which has arrested more than 400 people and deployed mace, tasers, rubber bullets, and army tanks to respond to the demonstrations. You're surprised by President Obama not doing anything? He hasn't been doing anything for eight years. Remember when he said he'd have his walking boots on if uh, organized labor was ever challenged? They were challenged in the state of Wisconsin public uh, workers and their pensions, etc. He didn't put his walking boots on. He didn't do any of that. He's not going to stand up for you. <laughs> you okay, you know when uh, he was asked about the, the North Dakota uh, pipeline situation, look at these, look at these stormtroopers. That's the new Selma that you're looking at. That picture right there was the new Selma. Now let's go to President Obama and his, what appears to be totally uninterested response to this. Watch. So, so we're, we're, we're going to let it play out uh, for uh, several more weeks and, and determine whether or not this can be resolved. What do you mean we're going to let it play out? What do you mean we're going to let it play out? You have a standing order that they not drill. Now, to be fair, they announced later, before that, uh, after that interview, that they're going to drill. So are you going to still let it play out? While the protesters were getting crushed by the crops, he was like, nah, I'm going to let it play out. I'm going to let it play out, see what happens, right? Now they're ignoring your order. What are you going to do now? Here's, in essence, uh, the North Dakota, uh, I'm sorry, the Dakota Access Pipeline reaction to President Obama's order. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. But you're the President of the United States. That's not an opinion, that's an order. So here's one thing you could do if you were a real progressive, you could go there. Could you imagine how powerful it would be if President Obama showed up in North Dakota and just came up to the cops and said, hey guys, you're facing the wrong way. Turn around. Now, they're state cops. If the state cops are so corrupt that they don't care what a federal order is, they don't care what the law is, they just, you know, their bosses want to get paid and they're going to buy the corporation and they want to serve the corporation and not the citizens and they want to turn the, the cops who we pay for, taxpayer money, into the Pinkertons, okay, that's all right. You know who, what the president has at his disposal? The National Guard. So he could tell them, hey, if you'd like, I could show up and I could bring the National Guard with me. I gave you a goddamn order. 
So Jordan Sheridan, our reporter, who's been breaking all the stories here uh, about this pipeline, who uh, was out there with cameras first before anybody else. There's been some great other folks that are now tracking it. Uh, again, leading the charge here. So he contacted the Army Corps of Engineers today and asked them, hey, wait, is this an order? Or am, I, am I eyes deceiving me? Do they have to follow the law, or can you, they just ignore you and federal law? The response to, uh, to that question was this. This is a quote from the Army Corps of Engineers. The pipeline company has not been granted the easement that is required before any horizontal drilling beneath the USACE managed federal lands at Lake Oahe can begin. With that, the easement necessary for the pipeline to cross USACE managed federal land at Lake Oahe is currently under review. We expect all parties involved to adhere to federal law. So Army Corps of Engineers, Department of Justice, President Obama, what are you going to do when they don't? Because they just told you, we're not going to listen to your law. Are you going to do anything about it? For God's sake, you only have a couple of months left. Up and at them. Do one thing that shows us you're a real progressive. It's so simple. Just tell the cops to actually enforce the law. The law is on our side. Do something. Young Turks. You know who makes independent media possible? You guys. Because of you, we can actually do this show free of any outside influence. That's what makes us so strong. Become a member today. TYTnetwork.com slash join. You are the media.